What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to replicate this awesome effect in Charlie Puth's video, We Don't Talk Anymore, uh, featuring Selena Gomez. This video, it just inspires me to make a lot of cool edits for you guys. I know you guys are really wanting me to do edits for you and uh, or show you guys how to edit like certain videos that you guys want me to replicate. And I love, love doing that, especially with this video, especially with the effect that I'm gonna show you guys right now. And thank you so much for the positive feedback on my previous video. If you guys haven't seen it, I will leave you a link in the description of this video, but thank you so much for that. I really spent a lot of time with that and uh, I will go ahead and show you guys how to do that video after this one. However, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and this is a really, really cool effect. So if I go ahead and push play on the music video, I did beat it because I don't wanna get copyrighted. You're gonna see this effect. He just walks across and then it goes and switches to the girl right here. And uh, this is a super, super cool effect that I wanna show you guys how to do along with the letterbox and the color grading. Uh, but I wanna show you guys specifically this effect right here with the mask and it's actually really simple you guys can do this in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins everything in Final Cut Pro 10 because that's what you guys want me to show you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys what I did in Final Cut so I used this right here this is just an exported video but if I push play we just have this right here and she just goes and walks across the screen now I'm sorry it's kind of short uh, this is royalty free video and I just found it and this is a perfect example of what I'm going to be teaching you guys. So I want to go ahead and head on over to Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything and start from scratch. So I used the second video here. I just downloaded three of them just because, I mean, why not? So we have her just kind of going across the screen here. And I'm going to use this, I'm going to use the first part of this clip. And to do that, you want to go ahead and go onto the range selection tool. I think uh, they moved around all the tools, so I don't even know. It's really confusing. Just click the end of this right here right there and drag that to wherever you want the video to stop so like around here and drag that onto the timeline so it's only going to select this part of the video so you can see if you push r on the keyboard it's going to bring up the shortcut for the range selection tool or you press v it will disable it um a will just do the selection so here are the tools go to the range selection and then another part where you want to move or select it so after this i want the other bit right here to start and I want it to end right before this so right there and I'm gonna drag that on top now you want to go ahead and go and position the clips you want to go ahead and synchronize this okay so along with the steps as well that's very important so we have the bottom clip here and she's gonna go ahead and walk towards the right everything has to be uh, synchronized correctly it can't be going the opposite way that just doesn't work so it's got to be either she's walking to the right or she's walking to the left this this also works with anything it could be a car so just keep that in mind and you want the footage to be still it doesn't ha it can be still but it can't be shaking like crazy or else the effect just won't be possible and the atmosphere has to be the same as well or kind of similar so we have this right here she's just walking across and I want it to the point where she's halfway in between the screen. So we're going to probably go like right here is where she's going to move, I think. So around here is about the middle. And then she's going to go ahead and move. So now once we have this, you want to go ahead and add a marker. So press M for the mark, uh, for the mark, mark in, I guess. It's a little marker to know where we have it set. So we don't have to keep arranging the clips. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is right where she walks in the middle around here. I'm going to add a marker to the time head. Make sure that it's on there and then press um, M on the keyboard. So now we can just go ahead and position these exactly where they are. Just like that. See? So that saves a lot of time. So once we've done that, we want to go ahead and mask out this. Okay? So what we want to go ahead and do is you can either select the top one or the bottom video. Uh, I'm going to do the top video just because it's a little easier to work with. And we're going to go ahead and go on to the effects browser. And I'm going to go on to the masks. Go ahead and click on draw masks and drag that or draw mask. Click and drag that on top of the clip. And then it's going to go ahead and say to click to add a control point. We're going to go ahead and zoom out of this to around 25% so we can have a nice area to work with. We're going to go ahead and click around the middle just like that and hold shift so it doesn't go to an angle. So it's kind of perfectly 
uh, centered. And you guys can arrange this too. So go ahead and just do that. And um, click the middle to uh, align it to however you want in case you messed up. And you're pretty much done. So go to fit. So we have this right here, but you can see that one video is a little bit zoomed in. The other video is zoomed out. We can go ahead and fix that very easily. Just select the other clip that is not zoomed in, or you can zoom it out. However, because this is how the video is, we can't zoom out. So it's just gonna make a black bar. We don't want that, so we're gonna do the other clip. And right, we're gonna click the transform tool. So this one right here, go ahead and, normally I don't like clicking and dragging this because it makes it all wonky and weird. Uh, Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I guess it's working just when I'm showing you guys. It's really weird. So go ahead and make sure that, that the umbrella, as you can see there, is aligned as well. So we want to go ahead and move this. What I like to do is use something as a reference. In this case, I'm going to be using the umbrella. So she's walking like that. And in this case, I want to go ahead and make sure that the umbrella is like around here. Something like that. So when we push play, she's going to kind of walk around like that, kind of. Let's see. I want to go ahead and make this a little bit more zoomed in a little bit like that. So I'm just clicking and dragging on the bottom clip in the transform option and making sure that it all aligns just correctly because when she's stepping to the right, her foot can't disappear. Her, her foot has to be shown. So whoops, I want to do it like right, right there. I know it kind of looks weird and it kind of sounds weird when I'm, when I'm talking to you guys about this. But so you get the sense of the kind of the idea I'm trying to make is she's walking like this and then it's going to go ahead and uh, just skip to the other video like that. So obviously it's not perfect because it looks like she's still kind of walking there. Okay, that's better right there. That's good. Okay, there we go. So now we have this. She's walking with her left foot and then her right foot will come into the frame just like that. See that? So we're pretty much good with the uh, everything else here. We can just cut off the ends. So use the blade tool, delete the ends and like that. And then for the letterbox, we can't add a letterbox built in from, the, from Final Cut Pro 10. And that is because we have a mask and if we add it, it's just gonna mask around the video inside and it's gonna look really really weird so don't add a letterbox so what I did instead is I went onto Google and I just typed in letterbox PNG I clicked the first one I saved it and then go ahead and select the letterbox and just drag that right on top and then just kind of shrink it to the ends there whoops shift Z to fit everything into the timeline and then now you have the black bars there and you can see it looks a whole lot better but it's still kind of boring because everything is still. So what we want to go ahead and do is add a handheld effect. And that makes the video like look like it's being filmed with a hand, you know, handheld. So it just moves the video around a little bit. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go back to the effects browser, go on to the stylize, go down and select handheld. Drag that on both of the clips. So if we go ahead and push play, now it looks like it's being held handheld obviously so it looks so the video is pretty much moving around and that's what we want so it's not a little bit boring it just makes the video look a little bit interesting and then for the last thing it is of course the color grading so go on to the color in the um, effects I think and then there it is color and then color correction drag that on both of them or you could just do one effect on one of them and just copy the um, the effects that we did on the first one and just apply it to the second. So that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna go into color correction, click on this little arrow and you guys can change the color and the mood of everything. The video is kind of like a greenish vintage. And if you go with a triangle, it gives you that. Or if you wanna go with like an opposite kind of look, you can do that as well. I don't remember what the, the name of this is. However, I'm just gonna go with something a little bit like this would be good. Okay, I think that's fine. And then saturation, you can increase or decrease that if you want. I made a whole video on this, so just keep that in mind. And uh, like that. And then we did add a little bit of a fade in the shadows. So it looks a little bit washed out. And then we wanna decrease this and increase the highlights. So we have that going on. And we wanna go ahead and copy the effects that we applied from the color correction only. Press Command C on the video we just did. Go on to the clips here, um, not on the letter box, and then go on to edit, paste attributes, and then do uncheck the draw mask and handheld. So we only have color correction once selected. Click paste, and now we have uh, both of them with the same color correction going on. 
Now, the video here is, the letterbox is washed out with the same effect. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just go on to color correction, go on to the color board, and if we go on to the shadows, we wanna increase that a little bit, not too much, because then it looks a little bit weird. So something like that. You can also do uh, click on it and just go like to like 5% if you wanted to. And you guys can change the midtones or increase it if you want. I'm gonna increase it a little bit and we have this going on. So if we go ahead and render this out, this is what it's gonna go ahead and look like when we have everything finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play and make it full screen. So we just have that going on. It's super short, but uh, we did it. It's very simple and very easy to do, I hope. Um, if you guys got stuck, please go back and just kind of play and pause the video if you guys wish. But I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys found it helpful in any way, please leave a rating below. That would be much appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.